Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I like to have several of these per class. As everyone knows, it gives me a chance to chat with you and you a chance not to have to read so much. I actually can watch. And they don't go very long, but they're intended to talk about some of the topics that are quite relevant today, that are at the forefront of some of the conversations. Today, we're going to talk about the changing workplace. And whether you're in HR, or leadership, management, what you find today is it seems to be much more challenging to run a business, operate a business, keep a business in, uh, in, in play, or even just work for a business. And some people may wonder, well, why is that? And so from wherever you are in the organization, from the leader of an organization to the human resource manager to the line level worker to the supervisor, Hopefully this provides some perspective on why it's so much more challenging today uh, to run a business and work in a business than ever before. The first is competition. In 1920, there were 90 uh, Standard & Poor major companies listed um, on uh, the stock market. And the average of these 90 companies was they were in business for 64 years. In 1998, the average uh, business on the S&P 500 lasted 10 years. And so today, it's even less than 10 years. The last I heard it was about 8.5 years. That means businesses last uh, not as long as they did. So there's going to be tremendous change. In fact, um, nearly half of all businesses fail within the first four years. So if you start a business within four years, 50% of them are going to be out of business. That's a tremendous change. So if you work for that company, you can be out of job within four years. You have a 50% chance. So the first aspect that affects businesses today is just competition. It's so much more competition. And in fact, there was a, a great statistic, which let me see if I can find, which talks about um, in the 1800s with global competition, um, only two percent uh, of two percent of the economy in, in the U.S. economy in 1800 was exposed to international competition. In 2010, 58 percent of our economy was uh, exposed to international competition. Um, what that means is that so much more of our economy is either an import or export. We're competing against China and Mexico and Canada and these other countries. The European market today, whereas 200 years ago, we just competed within the United States. So competition is a tremendous uh, difference for us. Again, let me just say that uh, when we look at world trade and competition, it was only 2% in 1800, and today it, it's 60%. Um, this is amazing, which is great. We have many more imports today, which uh, propel our economy, but we have so many more uh, exports as well, but the imports can take jobs away from people in this country. So competition affects business today. Second is laws and regulations. Um, back in the 1930s, when you hired an employee, it cost an extra 5% to pay for their benefits. Today, it's uh, almost 40%. So when you take into health care and unemployment insurance and long-term disability, short-term disability, it's so much more expensive, and liability insurance, so much more expensive to deal with employees today, um, which is so unfortunate. But even liability insurance lawsuits have taken a tremendous toll on organizations and their ability uh, to make a profit, because organizations exist to make a profit. We work to get money, and in an organization we call that profit, same thing. So laws and regulation, every law passed by a government or a special uh, agency affects an ability of an organization to work. For instance, in California, they now have paid sick leave for part-timers, and that's great for part-timers, but if you own a business and a person calls in sick who's a part-timer and you have to fill that position, you're now paying double. So laws and regulations affect businesses to good and bad, but that's just something that affects. And the last is what we call technology. Technology is the great aspect of our age. It has profoundly changed the way we do business. In fact, it's created millions of jobs, but also eliminated many more millions of jobs. We're in the first, it's really the first time in history that technology has called, caused more destruction in the job market than production. 
And what I mean by that is in the early 1900s, we used to be about 85% agrarian or farming. And then we came into a great manufacturing uh, country here. And uh, for the next 60 years, uh, untold many more millions of jobs were created than were lost in farming. Today, with computerization, um, many more jobs are lost than are created, and we're still waiting for that next industry that's going to create a multitude of jobs for um, the middle class or where, the, where the great number of people are. So those three factors, competition, laws and regulations, and technology have greatly influenced um, our organizations. And so whether you're in human resources trying to help build a business, whether you're a person who's trying to create a business or you're just a person who's trying to work in a business. These three factors impact our abilities. And once we know these factors, we can try to mitigate them and we can try to overcome these barriers. But it's important that we know them. If you have any more, let us know. Send us an email, uh, post it wherever you would like. But it's always great to continue the conversation. Everybody have a great rest of the day. Thanks.